Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 10 math class. This is 2.3, finding the shortest distance. And we're going to be finding the shortest distance between a line and a point. A line and a point. Okay? And basically the principle is that the shortest distance is always going to be the perpendicular distance. What do I mean that by that? Well, let's start with this example and I'll show you as I go. So a ranger cabin is to be built in a flat wooded area near the straight road that connects the two campgrounds in a park. So we're assuming that all of this area is equally wooded and equally flat, so it will be uh, easiest to find the shortest distance. That will be what we want to find. A new side road will connect the cabin to the ca campground road. So this is going to be my A right here. I drew it in already. And, uh, you know, sometimes I won't ask you to find a diagram. In this case, it says draw a diagram. Um, and you don't have to draw a diagram in that case, but it often is very helpful. So um, it's always a good idea if you just to get yourself oriented so you know what's going on. So this is my road, my straight road through the campgrounds. And it says the campgrounds have a coordinate A, B, and while well, the site for the cabin is at R, 6, 1.5. So I want a new side road to connect the cabin to the campground. So my R is going to be maybe, I don't know, somewhere like here or something. Let's call that R. So it's 6, 1.5. Okay. And each unit on the map grid represents 500 meters. Find the route that minimi minimizes the cost and number of trees that have to be cut down for the side road. So a lot of people would say, oh, well, I'm going to find the midpoint of this, like let's say that's here or something, and then I'd find the length from the midpoint to R. And that is actually not going to be the minimum distance from R to the line, though, because um, if you look at it, just look at it, then you can see that, let's say I drew this perpendicular line, and it's perpendicular to AB, right? And it goes through, it goes through R. Now, if this is perpendicular like this, then you can see that any other line that I draw, like let's say I wanted to draw a line to the midpoint or even to B or to A, you can see that these are all forming different triangles, right? I'm getting a right angle triangle like this. See that? And so this distance to the midpoint is actually going to be a hypotenuse. And we know the hypotenuse is longer than any of the legs. So that's why this perpendicular distance right here is going to be the shortest distance always, okay? So we can't have any other line like that. We want to have this line right here from here to here, okay? And I could call this C or something like that. I'll call that C. So all right, now that we have that straightened out, we do want to find the line for that, which says find the route. So that means find the equation of this line. So <clears throat> we're going to find the line RC. In order to do that, we're going to find the slope of AB first, and then we'll find the perpendicular slope, which will be the slope of RC, right? So the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we just fill it in. Again, don't forget to put the... Uh, put the formula in. If you didn't put the formula in and you did try to do this question beforehand, then you can take off some marks from yourself, minus one yourself, because you're getting it wrong. Okay, so I'm just plugging it in. And it doesn't matter which one is x, uh, which one is first one, which one is the second one, as long as you keep them straight. Um, so, yeah, and you can see that I didn't do that right now. So we're going to flip this. 2 minus 10, because it's 2, 8.5, and 10, 4.5. So we get 4 over negative 8, which is really negative 1 half. Okay, so the perpendicular slope, perpendicular slope of AB is the slope of RC, and so that's going to be the negative reciprocal, which is 2, and then we can use that to plug it into R, and we'll find our equation. So y equals mx plus b, and r is 1.5, 2 times 6 plus b. And we just figure out what b is, and hopefully you're really good at this from grade, uh, grade 9. 10.5 equals b, so b equals, um, oh, negative 10.5, I already wrote that in, sorry. <laughs> negative 10.5 equals b, so our equation is y equals 2x minus 10.5, like that, okay? So that is the answer, so I'll just write the route 
is y equals 2x minus 10.5. Okay, and now I can move on to part b. Find the length of the side road to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. So basically I want to know the distance rc. So b, I'm finding the length of rc, and I'm going to use my equation x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. However, I don't actually know the coordinate of C, so I am going to have to find the point of intersection between this line, AB, and this line that I just found, right? So to find the, the equation of AB, I'm going to do uh, y equals mx plus b. I already found the slope, which was negative 1 half, and I can use either one. I guess I'll use, uh, so um, why don't I just use b or something, doesn't matter, so 4.5 is equal to negative 1 half times 10 plus b, so I'm using this coordinate right here, uh, 4.5 is equal to negative 5 plus b, so b is equal to 9.5, so I get y equals negative 1 half x plus 9.5, and I'm going to find the point of intersection between this line and this line, and that gives us c. So POI is C. You can write that out for yourself. Um, so I'm just going to equate them. I'm using substitution because Y is equal to Y. So 2X minus 10.5 equals negative 1 half X plus 9.5. And you solve that. And I'm going to skip a few steps and just show you that X is equal to 8. And then I'm going to substitute it in. Uh, I'll substitute it into this one. I'll call that one. And so two, y equals 2 times 8 minus 10.5, which is 5.5. So that gives us our point C. C is equal to 8, 5.5. Now I can find the length, and I'll just plug it into the equation. So length of RC, oops, RC is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. <coughs> and my R, or I forget, is 6, 1.5. So I'll do 6 here and 1.5 here. And again, 8 here and a 5.5 here. And this ends up being root 20 which is really uh, 2 root 5. Now that is the length on the grid, but remember that each, each of these is actually 0.5 of a kilometer, right? And it says to find it to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. So the real distance is going to be uh, 2 root 5 times 0.5 kilometers, right? So I'm converting from units to kilometers. So you can just type that into your calculator and you should get 2.2 kilometers. So the, um, what is the question? Find the length of the side road. The length of the side road, side road is 2.2 kilometers long. There you go. Okay, and that's how we do it. So it is a lot of steps to do it, but it's pretty straightforward. So if you can figure out the algorithm, which is just basically find both lines, find the point of intersection, and then find the length, then you should be good to go. Okay, so it's not that complicated. Just remember how to do all the steps. Okay, we're going to do one more example. The vertices of a triangle are A, 5, 5, B, negative 3, negative 1, and C, 1, negative 3. Determine whether ABC is a right triangle, and if it is, show that the length of the median from the right angle is half the length of the hypotenuse. All right, so I'm going to draw out this triangle, just a quick sketch, because I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just only going to find the slopes of what I think is going to be um, right angles, right? Because I don't want to find them all. I know there's only three, but if I could find just two, I think that would be better. So this is negative three, negative one, and C is one, negative three. I'm gonna call that there, C, one, negative three, like that. And you just connect the dots uh, carefully. I'm gonna use my line tool. 
Oops. So I know it's not an accurate diagram, but I'm hoping that um, this one is the right angle. So I'm going to test these two slopes, and then I'll see if they are. If they are negative reciprocals, then it will be OK. So the slope of AC is the one I'm going to do first. And again, I'm writing that formula out. Now, actually, I only need you to write the formula out once per question. So I wrote it this time for this question, and I'm going to not do it again in this question. Oops, 5 minus 1, 5 plus 3, because it's negative negative 3, 5 minus 1. So I get 8 over 4, which is 2. And the slope of BC, because I'm hoping that these are uh, right angle, it's going to be negative uh, 3 plus 1 over 1 plus 3. So that gives us negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. So these are negative reciprocals. The slope of AC is a negative reciprocal of the slope of BC. That means AC is perpendicular to BC. Okay, don't write the slopes are perpendicular. That's not true. The lines are perpendicular. Okay, so therefore um, triangle ABC is a right triangle. Okay, and I have proved it. So this is a nice proof, very clean. It has our two things and explains exactly what happened. Um, triangle ABC is a right triangle. So when you're trying to solve this type of question, you do need to have a little bit of explanation in here. Otherwise, you'll lose marks because it won't be fully, fully explained. So now it says, show that the length of the median from the right angle is half the length of the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is AB. I'm going to have to find that length. And then I'm going to find the length from this point, let's call that M, to C, because now I know that's the right angle. And I want to find this length and see if it's half the length of this. All right, so let's get to it. First, I'll find that point, M, A, B. And I have to write the formula out, because I haven't done that in this question yet. Y1 plus Y2 over 2. And so I know it's negative 3 plus 5 over 2 and negative 1 plus 5 over 2, which ends up being um, 1, 2. So now I can find the length of MAB to C. And again, I haven't written this formula out, so I do have to do it first. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So this is the square root of 1 minus 1 squared plus 2 plus 3 squared. So that ends up being 5. And the length of AB, which is the hypotenuse, so I've written this formula out. I don't have to write it again. 5 plus 3 squared plus 5 plus 1 squared. Just filling in those coordinates. This ends up being the square root of 64 plus 36. That's 100, so 10. So it's true. The length of the median is half the length of the hypotenuse. Length of MABC equals 1 half the length of uh, AB. Okay, and that's all we need to finish that question. So all we did today really was talk about the shortest distance um, by uh, finding the, perpen the slope, then the perpendicular slope, uh, finding the two lines and the point of intersection, and just using length. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Bring any questions you have to class. We'll practice it a lot, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.